Eric Horn here at the Golden One Center in Sacramento. Final score tonight, Thunder wins against the Sacramento Kings 132 to 113. Really a dominant performance from the Thunder considering that they haven't played particularly well in Sacramento over the past few seasons. Uh, you got a complete effort from the Thunder, in particular their starting five, and that's without Dennis Schroeder and Raymond Felton. The Thunder was down two point guards tonight after the league sent out a late notice after shoot around today, uh, around 2 p.m. Pacific, that the Thunder was going to be without Schroeder and Felton, who were suspended um, for coming off of the bench during the Bulls game on Monday uh, during an altercation in the third quarter. It didn't matter for the Thunder tonight because you got superb performances from Paul George. He had 43 points, uh, including a dominant fourth quarter start where he uh, he had his hand in the first 15 points of the quarter for the Thunder, either scored or assisted on. Uh, really just a continually, a continually dominant performance from Paul George. Um, he's really making a march at the MVP right now with his play on offense and defense, and he's been particularly efficient in the month of December. Um, you know, it trickled down to everybody else on the roster. Russell Westbrook probably had his best offensive performance that he's had in about four games. He had 17, uh, he had 19 points tonight, uh, 17 coming in the first half where he was really getting out in transition. Uh, his bank shot from the left wing was working. Uh, he was having some post-up moves, uh, finishing around the rim. Uh, one of the more comfortable offensive performances you've seen from Westbrook, and then he gets a triple-double uh, with 17 assists and 11 rebounds, and then another, um, another cluster of steals for Westbrook, who's on an absolute steals tear. He gets six steals. Uh, coming into this game, the talk was about De'Aaron Fox being the fastest guy in the league. He made that proclamation um, uh, it, it, this week, and then Russell Westbrook came out and basically showed that he's you know, equally as fast or still fast at age 30. And then the walk off, naturally, uh, somebody asked Russell Westbrook off camera or off, you know, off the record, you know, what did you, well, how did you feel about your speed tonight? And Westbrook just kind of walked out without saying anything, which just cracked up the entire locker room. Um, Steven Adams, career high, 23 rebounds, 20 points. Jeremy Grant, 22 points, even 14 points from Terrence Ferguson, um, who was prolific from three. Um, strong performances from the contributor, the, the, the contributing players, as well as the big three of Adams, Westbrook, and George. You know, Billy Donovan had to shake up his rotations tonight, and credit to him, um, you know, he's got a guy as flexible as Paul George, but, you know, Paul George is a guy who's used to playing the entire first quarter. Billy Donovan takes him out halfway through the first quarter, leaves Jeremy Grant in the entire first, you know, and other than a little bit of the third quarter where the Thunder kind of had some, um, they were, they were kind of giving back some momentum to the Kings, and the Kings got it to within nine points to start the fourth. They weren't really bothered that much by the Kings' pace tonight. The Thunder played at their own pace. Uh, they were able to score proficiently, both from three and inside. They out-rebounded the Kings 66-43, to 43, with Stephen Adams getting 23 of those rebounds. So it was really a dominant performance from the Thunder from start to finish, aside from a couple of hiccups, maybe in the early first quarter and then in the third quarter. Here's some post-game video from Billy Donovan, Russell Westbrook, Paul George, and Stephen Adams.